All right, here. Back out here, sun gazing again. I do it every day. All right, so I want to talk to you guys about some things that I've noticed and the things that made me conduct those tests, the Super Saiyan blocker tests. Um, as I've been taking in more copper and silver and quartz crystal. I want to talk to you guys about the quartz crystal. It's uh, super conductive. You step out into the elements. These earth elements charge up these trace element particles inside your body, whether it be copper or uh, silver or quartz crystal. Quartz crystal are the crystals that come out of those tree stumps, and they've been mining them out for years. That's why you have big caves with stalactites and shit like that. Those are the master healers, and you charge them up with uh, ways of, like, you know, Tesla coils. You charge them up, sitting them in the sun, and they hold information. And that's what those tree stumps were. They had... They were based off silica. And the quartz crystals are 100% silica. So it's like the same thing as Silicon Valley. They use these silicon chips. And the silicon chips are just full. They're, they're capable of holding information. That's what the quartz crystals do. So I put that shit in my water. Feel me? Put it in my water dispenser in Caref. Because it's giving me trace particles that make me super conductive. Now what they have done is they put a lot of these fake estrogens in your detergents, you're sleeping in your in your blankets, and you take fluoride showers and shit like that. I've been using special water source for my hair, and this is all gonna correlate with a story of last night and New Year's. I use natural oil for my hair and water, and a nice water source that has no fluoride in it, and it's been making me more conductive, and it's not hiding it. But if I go take a shower, conventionally I will fill myself full of fluoride and estrogen. <laughs> It is going to attack all the copper that's in my body, and the copper will appear to be toxic only by way of chemical sabotage. So I'm just letting everybody know you want to stay away from those chemicals. You want to keep things natural as possible. You want to go with white vinegar. You want to go with um, baking soda. You want to use lavender oils and shit like that. Take that vinegar smell out and keep it like nice and fresh. But you don't want any of the conventional chemicals because they're fucking bullshit. It's a bunch of horse shit. Oh, yes. Story of last night, the correlation. <laughs> I had a vest on. I was walking away. It was New Year's. Of course, I was drinking just a little bit. And I didn't have a taste for that nasty domestic beer like I once had. I like the IPAs now. All right. So I was walking down the street. I was rubbing on my arms against my vest. And what I noticed is that my fingers started to get tight. And then I said, whoa. So then I ran my hands through my hair and then one of my hands charged up. And I was like, what the fuck? So I started to feel it, that same feeling when it feels like a baby squeezing, squeezing all your fingers. And it goes up your arm. And it feels like hypertension, so you get a little worried. So then I took my other hand and I said, huh. And I ran it through my hair. And then it started to charge up. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. So now both of my hands are starting to create a feeling of what appears to be an ecstatic electric charge. My arms are rubbing up against my vest, and the charge start rolling up my arm like a, like a balloon. When you rub your hand up against a balloon, and this charge now is all over my fingers and my hands. I'm like, fuck out of here. But rest assured, I had a shirt on. Guess what? Everything else was not charged except for my hands and arms that were exposed to the elements. So I started to realize there's something up with these fucking clothes. And that's how I figured it out. I tested 10 different blind studies. Uh, well, no, not blind studies. Uh, I'd say maybe half were major scientific studies. And I was like, I don't want to be deceived. Let me study some independent studies, too. I also found out the same thing. It's estrogens and blah, 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 blah. And women have higher estrogens, so they retain more copper. But too much of this copper will be poisonous. And I'm like, well, why is that? First it's antimicrobial, then it's killing cancer and yeast. Then it stops killing cancer. And I'm like, why is this? Well, the estrogens. The estrogens, the fake chemicals, the philatates, all that shit in your soaps. You sleep in it, you bathe in it. And it's not poisoned by, say, collateral damage. You'll get cancer from it. It's just made to keep you at a low level of frequency. That's it. They just want workers, man. It's not made to just kill you otherwise you'd be a dead motherfucker out here you'd be laying in the fucking dirt so once again recap stay away from the philatates 
Stay away from the fake estrogen and the EE2. Stay away from all the chemicals and the fluorides. And make yourself super conductive. Baking soda, white vinegar, and I would recommend like a lavender oil. Stay awake, folks.